Today we talk about tires. It's a very important part on your bicycle. I give you the basics about tires and rim. Um, on the end, I also gonna show you how to mount the tubeless and if you have a flat in the woods, what options you have to fix it. The function of the bead is to keep the tire in contact of the rim while it is inflated. We have three types of bead. First of all, wire bead. It's made of steel. We have foldable bead what is uh, made of army and uh, Kevlar. It's very handy to travel because you can fold the tire. It's also a lighter version. And then we also have a carbon fiber bead that's even stronger and uh, for high pressure, especially for road tires. The casing is either a single ply or a double ply. The single version is a little bit lighter, softer and the dual ply is uh, stronger and harder. It's more for enduro or downhill made. Rubber compound is one of the important uh, part. We have single compound, dual compound or even triple. Single is clear, uh, the whole tire is made of one uh, compound. Dual in the middle, you have a little bit a harder one and the triple has even three compounds in there. The puncture technology is a layer between the casing. We in the Scott SRAM team use um, always an EXO. The EXO sits actually on the sidewall. It's from bead up to the thread and it's a very strong and uh, lightweight, flexible sidewall protection. And it's very strong for a normal ride or, or also for races. Tire pressure, depending on rider's weight, the system and the style of riding and also the terrain. Too high, it's uh, unstable, very hard. If it's too soft, you damage your tires, your rims and the wheel set. Let's say we talk about tubal system, then I would say in the front 1.5 bar and in the back 1.6. This is how we do it. Put your bike on the floor Use your thumb, put it on the tire, then with your whole body weight, you, you push it through. If you break your finger, that's a good sign, then it's too hard. If you feel the rim, it's too soft. So you should actually, with the whole body weight, press it to the middle of the system. The team uses only tubeless systems. The benefit of it, you can ride it with less air, you have more flex on, on the tire that gives you a better control on the trail and uh, it's also quite handy with the sealant if you have a, a thorn or a, a, little, a little cut it, it uh, fixes by itself. First step I do is to clean out the surface of the rim just to make sure that the, the tape is sticking very well on it. I use a degreaser to, to clean it. Brim tape, I start 10 or 20 centimeters before the valve hole, and then I go around, overlap it, also 10 to 20 centimeters, just to have it really sealed on, on this area. Then next, I make the, the valve hole. I heat uh, the needle up with a fire lightning just to, to melt it through and not crack it. Then you put it in, tighten it, then your wheel is good to go. Afterwards, put the tire on, on one side, then the other side and leave some space open to put in the sealant. Measure the sealant, put it in, close it and then pump it up. Very easy. But make sure you are not pumping it up too much. My key is I never uh, put more pressure in than two bars, just to make sure the carcass stays in one piece and is not cracking up. So the tire will be very straight. If the bead is not jumping nicely up to the, to the rim hook uh, on two bars, just use your hands, give a little bit side, side pressure and it will jump out easily. A good trick if the tire doesn't uh, seal, 
press it on the floor, roll it, then it's much easier to, to pump it up. A lot of people want to seal it with spinning it. It doesn't help, guys, because while you're spinning, the liquid sealant will go to the top and the tire is sealed already. You need the liquid between the bead and the rim. So I play basketball and give it always a little bit of, of, a, of a turn and then you seal it up. Maintaining a tubeless system is very easy. Take your wheels off, your bike, shake it well and you can hear a nice uh, liquid voice. If it's already dried out, you probably won't hear anything. I recommend to change uh, the sealant after two to three months. My tip is to take the, the tire on one side off, take it out and then clean it proper. Put new sealant in there, close it, inflate it and uh, then you're good to go. I never put uh, the sealant in the valve because it, it uh, glues it up. Fixing a tubeless wheel is much easier than a tube. If you have a cut on the sidewall, there are cool stuff around, Dynaplug or Samurai, where you can put in like a worm to fill the hole up and with the sealant in there, it seals it up proper. If you have such a big hole that you can fix it, then you have to put a tube in there. Take the valve out, make sure it's all clean in there. Clean, I mean, from uh, thorns and some uh, sharp stuff. And then put the tube in there, but you have to cover the big cut. Otherwise, the tube will uh, show up to the, to the outside and will explode. You can use actually quite a lot of stuff. So either you put some money between the tube and the hole or a banana skin or a, a bar wrapper, any kind of stuff uh, can help you. Put the tube in, something between, pump it up and uh, then you're good to go. Now the wheel is fixed. Hope I could help you a little bit. And now you can go back on the trail. Right on.